point. You know what, kids really push it though sometimes. They just know when you're having a bad day. And they'll target whoever they think is a soft touch. <laughs> yeah, they know how to get what they want. All right, the other day it was really quiet and this lad, he came straight up to me. Here, mate. It's an 18. Yeah, and? You're not 18. Well, I got it on DVD then. See this? That's the BBFC rating system. Covers DVDs, videos and some games. Now, if I serve you and you're underage, then I could go to prison or face a fine of up to £5,000. My employers can get prosecuted and I could get the sack. Me. It says who? It says the 1984 Video Recordings Act. Well, what about this then? If the game isn't covered by the BBFC, it'll usually be covered by the Games Age Rating System. Games Rating, that's just a recommendation. They can't tell me what I can't buy. We treat game ratings exactly the same as the BBFC. So if you're too young, you're too young. It's just a game. You can say no as politely as you like. You can mm. suggest other titles, but some just don't take no for an answer. Mm. Well, that's the worst thing, they never give up. I turned down this lad once, right? And he went straight up to a passerby. I'll have that DVD. I'm afraid I can't serve you. What? Well, I know this lad's just asked you to come and get it for him. No, I haven't. This film's a 15. I am 15. Look, I'm sorry you've been drawn into this. You're obviously old enough to have it. But if I were to serve you, it wouldn't be right, would it? I think you could be underage. I'm not underage! Sorry, mate. Can't help you. But stop! Where are you going? He obviously wasn't happy, but at least I knew I'd done the right thing. I mean, he could have been 15, but I wasn't sure. But it's never that simple. Mum, this woman won't let me have my film. Why? I don't know. I'm afraid this film's a 15. The level of sex and violence in it are deemed unsuitable for anyone under that age. I'm actually obliged not to serve him unless he can provide ID. He is 15. I'm sorry, I need ID. Well, I'm his mother. What more proof do you need? Look. I'll have the effing DVD. You're not going to ask me for my ID, are you? What did you do? What could I do? I knew the kid was going to get the video, but his mum was definitely over 50. <gasps> Thanks very much. Sometimes you can't win. At least his mum was actually there. Seems all right. Can I have this game, please? It's got a 12 plus age rating. She's 12 and uh, I'm 13. Well, unless you've got ID, I can't serve you. I can keep it for you if you want to go and get proof of your age. And maybe come back with your mum and dad. Well, my mum's not here. Yeah. She's uh, just in the car over there. Well, why don't you ask her to come over and I'll have a chat with her? Yeah. If the child is underage, then that's it. You can put the game or film by, but if they want to take it out, I really have to speak to the parent face to face. Cool, but what about when they do provide ID, yeah? Yeah, and, and it's dodgy. Let's face it, there's not much reliable ID out there for under-18s. Particularly with a photo. And even when they do have ID, that doesn't make questioning any easier. Three DVDs, one computer game and a video, please. I wasn't sure, but when in doubt... Have you got any ID? Yeah, yeah, I've got my, um, I've got my birth certificate here. I'm not sure this will do. What are you talking about? It's a birth certificate. It's as good as it gets. Well, it doesn't really prove who you are. Look, it's got my name there, it's got my date of birth there. What else do you want? It hasn't got a photo. What photo do you want? Do you want a photo of me when I was a baby? What is your problem? Have you got anything else? No, I ain't got nothing else on me. Your passport, your photos. Listen, if I was going on holiday, I'd bring a passport with me. You have to show one of these to get a passport. Are you going to sell me these videos or not? I don't think I can. Listen, do you go to the shops with your passport? No, you don't. So if you're not going to sell me these videos, can you stop asking stupid questions whether I've got my passport with me? What DNA have I got? What blood group have I got? You know what? See these videos, you can shove them up your... You got a bit annoyed then? To be honest, he well have could have been 18. Best to be sure, though. They can be a bit scary. Especially if there's a load of them. And they know the busier it is, the more they can try it on. We want three films. One sexy, one horror, and one full swearing. I want games, bad games, full of killing and mugging. Give us one, give us one, quick. Are you together? Yes. yes. Some of these films are 18. Are you 18? Of course. Have you got ID? Have you got ID? I look older than you. You must be new, cos you don't know us. Everyone else who works here is quicker. This film is 18. If you want it, you'll have to provide me with some ID. Yeah, don't take it out, that's new, boy. Yeah, you better get a shift or we're going to take our business elsewhere. Your boss is going to be mad. You're going to get that set. <laughs> <laughs> heavy, man. For real. And the thing is, you want to serve him because that's what you're paid to do. It's not easy, man. No way do they make it easy. <laughs> Kitty, where you come from? You know what's coming? Dad finds you a film. No, he said he was coming. 
Well, I'll come instead. No, you're gonna take that to come pick it up. What? It's an 18. And. And you're not 18. Humphrey, I may not be 18, but I'm married and I've got a kid. I think I can handle an 18 rated video. It's very difficult. Yeah, it's not easy. Oh, come on, hurry up! Sometimes you just think, what's the point? Yeah, I mean, who cares what people watch? We've all done it. I mean, I, I used to borrow my brother's ID card. We've all watched videos we shouldn't have. Yeah, and look at you. The thing is, it's the law. You've got to draw the line somewhere. Sometimes it might not always seem to fit, but in the end, it's there to protect people. We've got responsibility. I should know. Justice, please. There was loads going on. I was in a hurry. She seemed old enough, and I sort of checked. Have you got ID? Um. Ah, oh, the lights have changed. So I did ask. She seemed sensible and she was in a hurry herself. Don't worry, it's fine. There you go. Did you get that? Trading standards is my ID. I got a criminal record for that. They said the only reason the fine wasn't more was because I did ask if she had ID. But it didn't matter that I was part-time and it didn't matter that I'd only been working there three weeks. The only thing that mattered was that I shouldn't have served her. I should have checked and when she didn't have ID, I should have said no. And the fine. I can't afford that and I'm a manager. Criminal record's worse. It affects everything. Career, credit rating, makes it difficult to get a mortgage. Surely they go after the company. They go after whoever's responsible. I served her and I should have checked. Simple as that. <laughs> no, if I had kids right, I would not want them watching these kind of films. I'm not going to have kids. Too much like hard work. Yeah, but when a kid comes into the video shop on their own, you've got a responsibility. Because their parents aren't they, are they? You should want to look after them. Is it so bad watching a horror film or a sex film? If they're just kids, listen, whether they like it or not, they don't necessarily know what's best. So if a kid asks you for a cigarette, would you give it to them? <laughs> no. Or a bottle of Jack Daniels? They might just want it. No. So you wouldn't give them alcohol, you wouldn't give them drugs, but you give them a film full of sex and violence? But a game, though, just a computer game. Well, that's a computer game, that's different, isn't it? That's just graphics. Yeah, you know it's not real, don't you? Yeah, but you still kill people in it. Run them down, shoot them up. It's a joke, though, isn't it? Actually, though, games are different to films, because you play them over and over for hours and hours. <laughs> that's true. I don't stop. Play them again and again and again. <laughs>
The law protects children from underage, smoking, driving, drinking and gambling. It also protects them from images of sex and violence. I suppose part of our job is protecting children, sometimes from themselves. If you think they're underage, challenge them. For your sake in this, have they got ID? Knowing the trading standards inspectors are out there, regularly prosecuting staff who fail to ask for ID, makes you think, I don't want a criminal record. We all know the job can be hard, loads going on, needing to be in five places at once, but it's only one question. I'm a mum, I'm a part-timer and I'd only been working there three weeks. Now I've got a criminal record. What makes you think you won't be next? It's simple, if it's more than PG, get ID.